learn more today on Rising. Crystal, what are you taking a look at? Well, friends, let's talk this morning about electability. Now, if you watch cable news, you will no doubt be familiar with one of the bedrock principles of conventional wisdom that is taken as gospel among the conventional wisdom faithful. Bernie Sanders is unelectable. Now, this theory requires no questioning or interrogation. It just is because socialism or because he talks too loud or whatever. It doesn't matter. He just is, okay? Now, this has been a major theme of attacks on Sanders from his opponents as well. Essentially, the argument is, well, sure, we'd all love for people not to die for lack of insulin, but voters hate that stuff. You'll lose for sure if you go around offering up quality health care and a livable planet to all who want it. Here's John Hickenlooper making the standard case. I'm saying the policies of this notion that you're going to take private insurance away from 180 million Americans, who many of them don't want to give it. Many of them do want to get rid of it, but some don't. Many don't. Or you're going to, uh, the Green New Deal, make sure that every American is guaranteed a government job that they want. That is a disaster at the, at the ballot box. You might as well FedEx the election to Donald Trump. Now, this assumption is completely impervious to any data that might contradict it. But, glutton for punishment that I am, allow me to introduce some additional data, which I'm certain everyone will ignore. Here we go. We got a new poll this morning testing theoretical matchups against Trump. And lo and behold, there are two candidates who beat Trump and beat him fairly easily, Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders. Biden and Sanders both earned 50% to Trump's 42%. No other candidate beats Trump by more than the margin of error in the poll. And Pete Buttigieg actually loses to Trump by a couple of points. When pundits are we going to start talking about Buttigieg's electability problem? But I digress. This latest result is unremarkable, by which I mean that it is just like nearly every other poll which shows Sanders and Biden beating Trump. There was even an Emerson poll recently out of Texas socialism hating real America Texas that showed just two candidates defeating Trump, Biden and Bernie. Now look, I know it's early, tons can happen. Biden could continue forgetting his campaign web address and which American cities are currently grieving. And I'm assured by many people who are always very confident that once the masses really get to know Sanders, he is going to drop in the polls. After all, he's only been in public life for 38 years, served in the Senate for 12 years and made two runs for president. Bernie, we barely know you guy. But my question is just, why is it taken as such an article of faith that Biden is safe and Bernie is a guaranteed four more years of Trump? Actually, I'm going to go a little bit further than that. There is quite a bit of evidence that Sanders is actually more electable than Biden. First of all, we can look at the actual voters who actually voted for Sanders. In the 2016 primary, he won both Michigan and Wisconsin. In fact, out of the 83 counties in Michigan, Sanders won 73 of them. In Wisconsin, he won all but one county. Sanders' strongest appeal seems to have been with exactly the rural voters that we are routinely told will hate him. For what it's worth, in Biden's 2008 run, he withdrew before even getting to these contests. Second of all, Sanders has massive grassroots enthusiasm that really outstrips any other campaign. The New York Times recently compiled these amazing maps of where every candidate gets their donations from. The entire U.S. map was so saturated with Bernie Sanders' small dollar donors from every corner of the nation that they actually had to do a separate map without Sanders, just so you could get some sense of where the other candidates are drawing their support. No amount of Hamptons fundraiser dollars can buy you this kind of enthusiasm. You either have it or you don't. Obama had it. Trump had it. Bernie has it. Biden does not. And finally, we've got a little bit of common sense here, people. There's a lot of media fixation on who can win back Trump voters. This imaginary factory worker in Michigan somewhere drives a whole lot of electability conversation. And honestly, even if this was the target voter, Sanders still looks pretty good. We've already discussed his performance in this state, and he routinely performs well among independent voters and moderate and conservative Democrats. But honestly, think about who Democrats have a better chance at on Election Day. Is it a Trump voter? or maybe a young person who leans Democratic but doesn't often vote. There is just no doubt that the base turnout strategy is the superior strategy. And there is no doubt who would drive that turnout enthusiasm. Aging Obama nostalgia is not going to get you there. 
political revolution, though, just might. And Sagar, you know, this is one of the things that drives me absolutely yeah, me bananas. Yeah. It's just offered as, like, yeah. fact, like, unassailable. We don't even question it. This is just one of the bedrock facts of this election. Because they, because it's a lot of these, these articles of faith are really just protection mechanisms built right. in because they know that Bernie or Trump at that time back in 2016 are existential threats to them and their ability to forecast elections, their ability to govern, their ability to continue to go on TV and still say the most banal things possible and people will be like, wow, that's such a good point. Right. And that's, I mean, it's, <laughs> true. It's, it, it's what these two candidates have shown is that it's all farce, is that most of the American people are dramatically out of step with everybody on cable TV or, or in the electable so-called caucus, and that's what Bernie's doing, and I couldn't agree with you more, which is, I, if you ask me who's unelectable, Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg, maybe Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders looks very electable. Well, and that's, I mean, honestly, if you ask voters, ask Democratic primary voters who they think is electable, look, they put Biden up there, and that's what the polls reflect, uh -huh. but they also see Sanders as, like, the next electable person. I mean, they they are not reflecting what the cable news pundits want them to reflect. I just think it's incredible that there hasn't been more of a reckoning post-Trump uh -huh. with these assumptions and making, like, unquestioned assumptions about who people are going to vote for, why they're going to vote for them, et cetera. Absolutely. Next up on Rising, fried Oreos and PB&J aplenty. So 